Hello and welcome to Mellow Labs. On today's episode, we're going over everything you need to know to get started with this offline voice recognition sensor. Brought to you by Patreon. I came across these when I was looking for stuff for future projects on Death Robot, and uh, I decided to flex my big YouTuber muscles and send them an email asking for a free sample. Uh, they very promptly replied with, you should just sign up for the open trial. So that's what I did. I got two of these for free, but I'm not getting paid, and I don't even have an affiliate link. That said, I would want them to sponsor my future project, so uh, let them know that you found out about it from me, and maybe something will happen? I don't know how this works. Let's talk about the board first. At the bottom, we have a bunch of circuitry. On top, we have two microphones, so that it can hear you better. We have a speaker. Yes, I also didn't know that was a speaker. Uh, I would have known if I checked the documentation, but by that point I was already writing the email. There is also two switches up here. One of them is to switch between UART and I squared C. The other one is to switch between speaker one and speaker two. This is speaker one, and speaker two is just a connector for you to plug in your own sound system and the other connector is for power and communication. But first, let's go over what it can do by itself. Let me plug it in. It will run on either 5 volts or 3.3. It doesn't seem to be picky. So as soon as you plug it in, it's gonna start talking. You're welcome to use the voice recognition assistant. When it's on, it's not really listening for any commands. It's just listening for its wake up word, which uh, by default is, hello robot, and then you can say a command like, open the window. Okay, the window is open. It has 121 pre-programmed commands and a further 17 for you to customize. And you can also customize the wake up command. Let's start by changing the wake up phrase. Hello robot? Yes, I'm here. Learn wake up word. Learning now. Be quiet. Please say the wake word to be learned. Yorkshire T Sachs. Yorkshire tea sucks. Learning successful. Please say it again. Yorkshire tea sucks. Okay, learning completed. And it's as easy as that. Now I'm gonna wait for it to stop listening. I'm off now. Thank you. Yorkshire tea sucks. Yes, I'm here. Close the windows. Okay, the window is closed. And it's as easy as that. So now let's teach you a new command. Yorkshire tea sucks. Learn command word. Learning now. Be quiet. Please learn the command word according to the prompt. Please say the first command to be learned. Give me the cheese. Learning successful. Please say it again. Give me the cheese. Learning successful. Please say it again. Give me the cheese. Okay. Learn the first command successfully. Please say the second command to be learned. And now you actually want to say exit learning command. Successful. Please say it again. Exit learning. Okay, the learning mode is exited. When it's in learning mode, it's going to keep asking you for new commands one after the other, but you can just say exit learning and it will stop. Now let's test if the command works. Yorkshire tea sucks. How can I help? Give me the cheese. Done. But for example, let's say you're not happy with the command, you can also delete it. Yorkshire tea sucks. How can I help? I want to delete. Do you want to delete the learn wake word or command word? Delete command word. Deleting successful. It can also be trained to recognize sounds, things like animal noises or whistling. One of the examples on the website is for it to recognize the sound of rain and it will like automatically close your windows, which is pretty cool. But without a microcontroller, that's everything it can do. It can just recognize things. It's more like pattern recognition for sound waves than like speech to text. And what the module sends to the microcontroller isn't any kind of audio or text. It just sends the command ID. Each of the commands has a separate ID and it will just send it over and it's for you to decide what happens to it after it's received on the other end. They provide code examples for it to work with Arduino and the Raspberry Pi. Since I've got both of them, let's try them out. Arduino first, since I know the least about it. I connected my sensor to my Arduino over I squared C and on my desktop I've got the Arduino IDE and the GitHub repository for the module. First thing we gotta do is install the library. We can just copy this name, paste it in here and it should pop up. We just click install and when that's installed we can go over here to examples, I squared C, go in here, copy all the code and paste it in here and then 
There are a couple things you can change about the module by modifying the code. For example, we can change the volume from 1 to 7. We can mute or unmute the module. Or we can change the duration it stays on for after you say your wake up command. So the code's uploaded and now I can open our serial monitor. And we've already got a couple things in here. First of all, it just says it's doing okay. Then we set the wake up time to 15. And then the last thing it sends is command ID 23. If we go over to the documentation, we can see that that means uh, retreat. Yes, I know that says retreat. I'm just dyslexic. I don't know what that means. So now if I say the phrase Yorkshire tea sucks, you can see that in the command line we get command one, which is the wake up word. And apparently I triggered command five, which is a custom command. So that's interesting. <laughs> so custom commands will automatically just fill out these numbers. And for you to know which is which, you kind of just have to write them down yourself, I guess. They really did try to cover a lot of use cases with the pre-programmed commands. There's a whole bunch of like robotics stuff here, like go forwards, park the car. But there's also a whole bunch of home automation stuff like uh, turn the lights off, uh, close the door. Let's test it with turn off the lights. It should return 104. Yorkshire tea sucks. Turn off the lights. And here we go, 104. I assume 255 is just like a sign of life because it's not mentioned anywhere in the documentation. Um, I might tell them to add it. After you get the command ID, it's really up to you to program whatever you want it to do. Now I'm going to switch over to the Raspberry Pi so that I can actually understand the language it's written in. This is going to be a much quicker demo because it's more or less the same as the Arduino. First of all, I cloned the GitHub repository and first thing you can do is just delete uh, all these files because you don't need them. You only need the Python one. This is the driver that makes it do things. You will have to pip install Samba and Serial, but after that it should work fine. If we head over to example, and I've got it connected over I2C, it's basically the same as the Arduino. You can adjust the volume, whether it's muted or not, and how long it stays awake for. Now if I run this script, it will print the usual, and now I can start saying commands. Yorkshire T Sachs. Bluetooth mode and we can see 34 is the same and now because it's Python a language I can actually program in I can add something like Yorkshire T sucks display heart and eventually it prints it out and that is pretty much everything you need to get started with it. It's really rather simple. Uh, I can't say it's going to be good in the long run because I've only had it for a few days. I also don't know if it's going to be any good with like difficult accents. But then because it's mostly doing sine wave recognition, you could just set up custom commands and it should work just fine. If you do want to pick one up, there is a link in my description. I don't get any kind of kickback. Just let them know I sent you so that hopefully one day they will sponsor a video. Uh, thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting me. And uh, keep an eye out. I will be, I will be using these in future projects. So um, until then, goodbye. Um, I would normally jump out of frame, but I've been hitting the gym lately. And now my thighs hurt. So, um, ow. Exclusive content on Patreon.